this deal to reduce the deficit could be huge, somewhere between one and four trillion dollars. They're talking about taxes, Social Security, Medicare, defense, and most everyone agrees it has to be done by next week to give Congress time to pass the legislation. In our interview today, we spoke with the president in the same room where FDR broadcast his fireside chats. It wasn't that long ago when compromise in Washington was considered a virtue, not a vice. Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill were on opposite sides of the political spectrum, but they respected each other, they liked each other, and they got things done. Do you like Speaker Boehner? I do. And uh, I think John would like to do the right thing. Do you trust him? Uh, I, I do trust that uh, when John tells me something, he means it. Uh, I think that his challenge right now is inside his caucus. But I think uh, Ronald Reagan and Tip O'Neill are a great example. Uh, Ronald Reagan repeatedly took steps that included revenue in order for him to accomplish some of these larger goals. And the question is, if Ronald Reagan could compromise, uh, why wouldn't uh, folks who idolize Ronald Reagan be willing to engage in those same kinds of compromises? Do you regret any of the things that you've said in all of this? No, I think I've been pretty restrained. I, uh, <laughs> well, you told the Congress they don't do their work as well as your daughters do their homework. Well, what I said was that they procrastinate, and that is absolutely true. I don't think I'd get any dispute about that anywhere in the country. I mean, the fact of the matter is that we should not be leaving an issue of this magnitude that affects the world economy as well as the American economy to the last minute. And, and yet, Congress often leaves things to the last minute and wow. engages in the kind of brinkmanship that I think is pretty dangerous. How optimistic are you that a deal can be done? Time is running out. Well, I think we can get it done. Now, if, if it turns out that the other side won't budge on anything, then uh, we're going to be here every day until we get this done. But, sir, the Republican leader in the Senate said today that they can't do business with you. As long as you occupy this House, there will be no deal. Well, uh, that, then he's going to have to explain to me uh, how it is that uh, we're going to avoid default, uh, because I'm going to be president here uh, for at least uh, uh, another year and a half. And I don't think the American people would expect that uh, the leader of the Republican Party in the Senate uh, would simply say that uh, we're not going to do business with uh, the President of the United States. We invited Speaker Boehner to talk with us, and we're looking forward to having him here for you one day soon.